make sure you know it in depth. What's the next tip? Next tip is automate reports with Power Pivot and DAX. So I was saying, if it's not in Excel, in Excel, it's not Excel. So just saying, just reminding you there, right? Automate reports with Power Pivot and DAX. Let me jump to Excel to show you what I mean. So what do you mean by automate reports with Power Pivot and DAX? Now, it comes back to this, right? This is the fundamentals of Excel. I said, Excel is an analysis tool. That means analysts are mainly what you use Excel for analysis. If you're in Excel, you're an analyst. Whether you like to call yourself an analyst or not, you're just become an analyst. If you're in HR, you're a HR analyst. So use Excel for past and use Excel for future. Here we're saying automate your reports with Power Pivot and DAX. So in reporting, I told you there are only three things you need. So you need data sheet, control sheet, report sheet. So when you're using Power Pivot, Power Pivot, what does that mean? Power Pivot simply means it's, it's a tool that allows you to connect to multiple data sources, and then you now do your reporting from those multiple data sources, right? So you could connect to data in SAP, connect to data in text file, connect to data in folder. At the end of the day, you're gonna bring all of this and build something called a data model. So we're now kind of extending from just a data sheet, which is the simple old school way of doing reporting, where you just get a sheet and then, oops, sorry, one second, you load data. Okay, so you just get a sheet, for example, and then you load data into the sheet and then you use that for your reporting. That's fine. But what about if your data is not just in one place? Maybe your data is here, there's another data somewhere else. Well, if you're loading data, your data has to follow seven golden rules. You could go check out our YouTube channel, D Brown Consulting, for more about seven golden rules. But when you want to extend your reporting and make it really industry enterprise scale reporting, you need to have this tool called Power Pivot. This is it up here, Power Pivot. This is a magic box. This extends your usability of Excel by allowing you to build something called a data model. So if you look at it, I'm hovering over it. What's it saying? It says, go to the Power Pivot window. Go to the Power Pivot window to load and prepare data or continue working on data already added to this workbook. So manage, you go there and build it. I'm not gonna show you that. We have some videos on YouTube. You could go watch those how to use Power Pivot, but just take it like it's a SQL, as an SQL based um, tool that allows you to connect to multiple data sources and then build your reporting. So it's, it's really the efficient way to go. Yeah, Power Pivot. Now, yeah. so it's a data model. How do you get Power Pivot? Well, one, you need to have certain versions of Excel to have this. Anytime you see Professional Plus in your Excel, then you most likely have Power Pivot. So if I go to File, what you could do is go to File, then you go to Account, when you go to account, you'll be able to read what version of Excel you have. So here I have Microsoft Office 365 Pro Plus. So this Pro, that Pro, that's Professional Plus. So some of you may have um, Excel 2013 or Microsoft Office 2013 Professional Plus. You may have Microsoft 2016 Professional Plus. Just make sure you have Professional Plus or Pro Plus in your name. Once you have Pro Plus, that means you have Power Pivot, okay? And this is the best way to do reporting. Simple as that. Now, Power Pivot uses its own language. So Excel's language is what you know. I can go to Excel and say equals to VLOOKUP, and that's Excel's language. Power Pivot has its own language, and it's called DAX. So Power Pivot's language is DAX. So you need to know Power Pivot, all right? and you need to know its language called DAX, which is data analysis expressions. So these are skills you need, you desperately need. So that is your, I'll add more to the skills. So that is your tip. I think that was tip three or four, I think. Let's, let's get back to our, let's get back to our tips.